you know, recently we had the opportunity to talk to EJ of Vienna, and then he was saying that the Philippines right now is experiencing what he calls the golden age of sports. Do you agree with this? I mean, you were in Tokyo. You were the one who handed Heidi Lindias her gold medal. So would you agree that parang this is the 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 peak of Philippine sports? No, no, not at all. Because we can we can be doing better, and I think as a competitor, it always it feels that way. Definitely, as far as athletics goes, we have not had an athlete that has excelled as much as EJ has in in these recent times, and you know, and Heidelin. But you know, coming from my position, we are competitors. We love medals. We love to win. <laughs> But for me, it's like we can win more. And if we don't win more, we have to be sure that sports is producing people who are better off because they were in sports than if they were not in sports. So parang masasabi natin na, o oh, sige, gusto natin marami tayong medalya. Pero sa totoo lang, let's say na lang the Olympic Games, ano ang populasyon ng buong mundo? Di ba? Billion-billion tayo. The Olympic Games, we are limited by cost, by practicality, to having 10,500 athletes in a summer Olympic Games. Maybe about 3,000 athletes in a winter games. Out of all of those athletes, we have, sabihin mo na, 350 events where people can win medals. So out of the entire population of the world, every four years of a Summer Olympic Games, only 350 people can be a gold medalist or teams or silver or bronze. But does that mean na yung effort na nilagay mo sa sports, whether naging national athlete ka, or recreational athlete ka na hindi ka nagkakasakit dahil physically fit ka, na hindi ka nakakabigat sa pamilya mo dahil sakitin ka, or nalulung ka sa masamang bisyo. Kasi kung hindi ka nag-sport, siguro marami kang time magbulakbol. Or siguro hindi ka naging as physically fit as you could have been. So there are social benefits to sports. And it doesn't have to be all about just the medals. For me, but those are intangibles, di ba? Hindi nabibilang yon. Pero medalya nabibilang. Ang medalya nagbibigay ng honor, nagbibigay ng inspirasyon. We become united when we have, you know, athletes who perform well. So at the top level and the bottom level of sports, it's a service. So for me, that's why I love doing it. Because I'm providing a service in an area that I'm familiar with. That I know. Kasi yan ang kinalakihan ko, di ba? For me, a golden age, I believe in the Filipino that we can do more. But we also have to change our attitude that it's not just about the medals. It's about how we work. It's about how we get there. And there are a lot of people who are putting in a lot of money in sports now that was not being put into sports before. And the challenges remain. So it's also working smart na kailangan natin gawin to be more competitive. And there are many, many people in the Philippines who are working very hard to also serve in the area of sports. And for me, sana mahanap din nila in their particular sports kung ano yung magiging strategy. Para sports can serve more people and at the same time, we can also make the Filipino people proud by our international success. 